Good morning, DHS. Today is the third day of our Truth and Reconciliation Week, tied into Orange Shirt Day on Friday, September 30th. Every day at the beginning of period two this week, we will be making announcements that strive to bring you a little more information about the residential school system, the impacts on Canadians, and how we aim to reconcile the harm done to First Nations, Métis, and Inuit. Students and staff are advised that this announcement contains references to the trauma that occurred at residential schools across Canada. We know this information may be very difficult for some people. If you find yourself upset and in need of support, please reach out to Guidance, the Wabanong Student Center, Julia or Sherry Lee, or a trusted adult. In the moment, you can also try taking some long deep breaths to quiet your mind, body, and heart. Every child is different, but in the Indigenous community, everyone, in one way or another, is connected to the tragedy of residential schools and genocide. This week, we are learning about the truth of residential schools in Canada. 150,000 students attended these schools. Harm was done. Reconciliation is the opportunity to heal the broken relationship between non-Indigenous and Indigenous people in Canada. One attempt, one attempt at reconciliation is the launch of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in 2008 that listened to the stories of more than 6,500 residential school survivors and their families. From the TRC Commission came 94 calls to action. At our school, we're implementing the calls to action that apply to education. Specifically, we're implementing number 79 to work with residential school survivors and other Indigenous people and artists to plan for remembering residential schools and celebrating Indigenous people and cultures. Number 80, to work with Indigenous people to create a special holiday called a National Day for Truth and Reconciliation to honor residential school survivors, their families, and their communities. Number 81, to work with residential school survivors to make a residential schools monument to honor all the children who went to residential schools and their families and communities. And number 82, to work with residential school survivors to make a residential school monument to honor all the children who went to residential schools and their families and communities. You may have seen the artwork around our school celebrating Indigenous cultures. Perhaps you've seen the orange rock in front of our school that says every child matters. In the foyer this week, there is a memorial art installment to Indigenous children whose bodies were found buried on the grounds of residential schools. Our school is working to implement the calls of action. Please take some time to look at the work our students and staff are doing to work towards reconciliation. As, Inish as Inishinaabe Honorable Chief Justice Murray St. Clair reminds us, reconciliation is not an Aboriginal problem, it is a Canadian problem. It involves all of us. Today's video talks about reconciliation and what we can do to help achieve reconciliation. This Friday, this week, and from now on, we acknowledge the truths that have been spoken and the harms done. On Friday, please wear your orange shirt. On Friday, there will also be a sticker fundraiser collecting money to donate to causes supporting Indigenous people. The Wabanong Student Centre in Portable 2 has a morning smudge at 8.15 for students. Feel free to also visit the Wabanong Student Centre at lunch to share ideas or questions. Learning matters, belonging matters, relationship, mat relationship matters, and of course, every child matters, now and always. Please remember to wear your orange shirt this Friday to show your support. Miigwech for listening. There will now be a short video. Kids News Explains. What is reconciliation? Let's Google the word reconciliation. Here's what comes up. To reconcile or restore friendly relations. Kind of like when you get into an argument with a friend and they hurt you, but then you make up. In recent years, reconciliation has taken on a new and important role in Canada. Maybe you've heard of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada, or the new federal holiday known as the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. But what does it all actually mean? And why do we need reconciliation? Part of reconciliation is recognizing that non-Indigenous people have harmed Indigenous people in Canada for centuries and treated them differently than white people. For some people, reconciliation is the opportunity to heal a broken relationship and to establish a Canada that honors Indigenous people and their contributions. So where does reconciliation stand now? The current process of reconciliation is often tied to two different groups. Number one, government. Mr. Speaker, I stand before you today to offer an apology to former students of Indian residential schools. The treatment of children in Indian residential schools. 
is a sad chapter in our history. That was former Prime Minister Stephen Harper. He made a historic apology in the House of Commons in 2008. So that part of the process of reconciliation is about the government acknowledging something wrong and taking the steps to make it right. But many Indigenous people and their allies say an apology without action isn't enough. Like, if you say sorry to a friend for hurting them without changing your behavior, is it really an apology? Number two, individuals. The second part of reconciliation is more about individual action. Attempts at reconciliation are happening all around us. Individuals and groups are trying to highlight the past and present unfair treatment of Indigenous people in Canada. Think of it as learning from the past and trying to do better. For example, reading about residential schools. So, when did Canada's reconciliation with Indigenous peoples begin? The process of reconciliation was made official in Canada in 2008. That was when the Truth and Reconciliation Commission was launched as a way to record the effects of residential schools on Indigenous peoples. More than six years of work was done by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, also known as the TRC. The chair of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, Senator Murray Sinclair said, Reconciliation is about atonement. It's about uh, making amends. It's about apology. It's about recognizing responsibility. Three commissioners traveled across the country listening to more than 6,500 witnesses and their families about the negative impacts of residential schools and other mistreatments. The result of all that work was a report that listed 94 recommendations, or calls to action, to help repair the relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous communities and prevent future and ongoing harm. The calls to action are separated into sections like language, health, sport, education, and media. Some examples of a call to action would be Number seven, we call on Canada to work with Indigenous people to make sure that all kids in Canada are getting a fair education and chances for a job. And number 20, we call on Canada to respect the health needs of all Indigenous people, no matter where they live in Canada. Although the federal government has acknowledged the results of the Truth and Reconciliation Report, many of these calls to action have not been addressed. What do we do now? Reconciliation is a long and hard process of making wrongs right. Although not everyone will agree on the exact way of making things better, here are some ways you can make a difference. Number one, paying attention in history class when your teacher is talking about Canada's treatment of Indigenous peoples. Number two, Remembering and honoring residential school survivors and their families on Orange Shirt Day and beyond. Number three, reading about indigenous issues. Number four, reading all 94 calls to action in the Truth and Reconciliation Report. Number five, speaking up when you see indigenous peoples being treated unfairly or you hear racist remarks. This has been KN Explains Reconciliation. For CBC Kids News, I'm Isabel DeRoy Olson. Chimi Gwech, bye!